Welcome back to the FreeQMS YouTube channel. Today's focus will be on the customization of user settings in FreeQMS. One of FreeQMS's selling points is the fact that you can use it out of the box without customization. That's kind of the point. We want FreeQMS to be as accessible and easy to use without having to put in any extra work to make it function in your environment. That said, there are still some optional settings you can fidget with to tailor the program to your needs. Most of these options can be found in the Company Settings tab in the main menu. If you click through to Company Settings, you'll see all the available fields you can edit. At the top is the Name field, where you'll be able to edit the name of your instance. Some people prefer to leave this as is, while others may prefer to have it named after their company or quality team for posterity. Below that, very simply, is the Time Zone. If, unlike FreeQMS Headquarters, you're on the East Coast, you can change that here, or set it to any international time zone that may be necessary. The next two fields are settings that are more dependent on user preference, or may be set to better coincide with the way your legacy records are formatted. If you click Date Format, you can change the way dates appear in your instance. This allows for all sorts of combinations, such as a fairly standard month, day, year, to the EU format with a leading zero. There are tons of options. Making changes updates the format of all dates entered in your program, as long as they are in an actual date field and not free written in a notes field. Time format functions very much the same, though can be edited independent of the date setting. This allows you to change how times are displayed in your instance, and will update all records to show this change once you save your settings. Next is more of an administrative setting. Password update as shown in this tip below, simply sets the number of days before your users have to update their password. Once they cross this threshold and try logging in, the system will prompt them to update their password and walk them through the process. This setting is necessary for FreeQMS to maintain its compliance, and for the security of your quality instance, we recommend a healthy number of days that works for your system. Finally, we come to the task email notification setting. This yes or no checkbox simply determines if you want the system to automatically email users that have tasks assigned to them. We generally recommend leaving this checked, as the task system is fairly integral to the operation of FreeQMS, but some users like to be more proactive with their tasks and prefer to not get barraged by emails. We understand. If you've made any changes and would like to save, simply click the button at the bottom of the page and your changes will go live immediately. While that is the last customization option, there are technically two more fields that you can customize outside of this page. In both the Suppliers and Customers modules, you'll see at the top right, there's a button for Configure Evaluation Levels. These function the same and simply determine the number of days with which you evaluate your levels of suppliers or customers. This will help FreeQMS keep track of your automatic evaluation dates so you don't have to. For example here, our Customers instance has level 1 customers at 180 days level 2 customers at 1 year, level 3 at 730, 4 at 1460, and we've determined that anything higher than level 4 does not need to be evaluated, so level 5 is at 0. We can quickly open a customer record to show this functionality. This test supplier is level 1, and was last evaluated on August 3rd, so FreeQMS, upon creation, automatically set the next evaluation date to January 30 because level 1 suppliers are set to 100 day intervals. And that's really it as far as customization goes in FreeQMS. We've been considering adding more customization options to FreeQMS, though our main goal is to keep the program simple, so there isn't too much room for error when creating an instance. We want people to be able to open the program for the first time and be able to get started in the new quality system with no additional effort the first day. As always, we appreciate and value your feedback and look forward to hearing back about the changes and updates you would like to see in the future. Be sure to check out the support links at the top right, and also the user survey under your account tab in the program. This helps us gather valuable data in the ongoing task of improving your quality instance. Thank you and stay tuned for more tutorials and updates for FreeQMS.